Oh boy, do we have a treat here today. It smells nice, it's quite syrupy and has an amazing ability of attracting government agencies at record distances. Transbenzaldehyde lads. There are two ways to making this, one is quick and dangerous and the other one is slow but gives better use. So let's start with the quick one. First to a two-necked boiling flask was added 50 ml of fuming nitric acid. After which it was put into an ice bath. Now what's left to do is wait for it to cool down to like 3C. Now let's pipette some benzyl alcohol into it. But just a small amount so that nothing totally unexpected happens. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have held it like that, but honestly, imagine how smooth my hands would feel right now if I had bleached them with acid. So after once again flipping off Charles Darwin, I've decided to start by patting the benzyl alcohol slower. So once we add the benzyl alcohol, a reaction starts happening. Theoretically, by this reaction scheme, the nitric acid reacts with the benzyl alcohol forming a radical by hydrogen abstraction. A radical compound is basically something which has an unpaired valence electron. This radical then decomposes in two ways. One is by reacting with oxygen to produce benzaldehyde and the other turns into this. This can then react with the NO2 ion forming benzyl nitrate. Because we're using fuming nitric acid, we can't use the catalyst. At least I think so. My theory is that benzyl nitrate over time decomposes into some kind of benzyl product which is probably benzaldehyde but I really can't say for sure. Meanwhile the benzyl alcohol is being added a second layer forms and that's the organic layer forming. In this organic layer there can be benzyl alcohol, benzaldehyde, benzyl nitrate and a bunch of other things which will break down over time mostly into benzaldehyde however I'm not sure. This reaction also releases a bunch of brown gas which is most likely nitrogen oxides. Eventually the whole mixture took on a green color and after I became tired of swirling it around constantly I've decided to upgrade to a stir bar. Here's a really cool close-up shot which really shows this green emerald color of the solution. So as the concentration of the nitric acid decreases because some water forms over time because of the reaction, its power decreases as well. So now it was safe to just swing the benzyl alcohol into it, which surprisingly turned the mixture's color yellow, which is really nice in my opinion. So I've left it all to react for like 2 hours during which I've played some Fortnite. After those 2 hours the whole thing got transferred into a separatory funnel. So first I've decided to decant the water layer and then I've did a sodium carbonate washing. This will knock out any acid that's left in the solution. And everything was shaken. Blow. The color for some reason changed to orange. Finally, I did a saturated sodium chloride washing to wash the organic layer of any water. And everything was shaken. Also, the whole room now smells like walnuts. And that's because benzaldehyde has a really potent smell. Most people say that it smells like cherry, but I have no idea how a cherry smells and this just smells like nuts to me. But overall, its smell is really nice. Too bad it's used to make me. So the organic layer was finally transferred into a beaker where it was put into a vacuum distillation apparatus. And here we distill the benzaldehyde which hopefully gets rid of this ugly color. Benzaldehyde has the boiling point of 180 C which if we hit it at that temperature it will most likely break down our product. So I started pulling a vacuum which decreases the pressure in the whole system and lowers the boiling point of benzaldehyde. That's because the smaller amount of aeromolecules in the apparatus means that it's easier for benzaldehyde to jump into a gas. After turning on the heat, everything starts boiling and eventually there started being a bunch of nitrogen dioxide vapors. So now let's get into the actual procedure where you get the good use. First, to a boiling flask, I've added 100 ml of water. Then to that, I've added around 20 ml of fuming nitric acid. After stirring, I started very slowly adding 2 grams of sodium nitrite dissolved in 5 ml of water. After the sodium nitrite is added, a reaction happens between the nitric acid and sodium nitrite, resulting in the production of nitrous acid. This nitrous acid isn't stable so it will over time decompose into water and dinitrogen trioxide, which is why there is a brown gas in the flask. Next, I've added the 31 ml of benzyl alcohol and finally dropped in the stir bar. Now, I'm, I'm very sorry for everything alive that's watching this, but I have to commit a war crime by showing <coughs> Graham Condenser. That's why the biggest piece of shit ever invented in the chemistry space. I have it. At the end of the Graham Condenser is a funnel trap, which was submerged in a sodium hydroxide solution. 
Okay, I know this looks extremely cursed, however I truly did not know how to make this thermocouple accurate. I don't have any thermometer shielding, so I've had to improvise. Also, we're going to be hitting it at a low boil. Okay, after turning on the heating, uh, reaction starts happening, this time the benzyl alcohol still gets oxidized, but to benzyl nitrate. Basically, benzyl nitrate is really unstable and can decompose back into the catalyst and the benzyl alcohol. However, because of the heat, the benzyl nitrate decomposes into benzaldehyde, which can't really go back into the products of the former reaction. I'm not sure, but if you were to add sodium nitrate to the RFNA, in the first step it would most likely decompose almost instantly due to the heat of the reaction. Once the reaction takes off, you can see a really beautiful yellow color emerge. That's pretty much the sign that the whole thing is working. Also, we can see a bunch of brown fumes, which is nitrogen dioxide or the dinitrogen trioxide. Either way, something is happening and we are producing benzaldehyde. The whole reflux was run for like 2 hours, during which I played some Minecraft. Okay, this is the boiling flask and now let's separate out the organic layer. <coughs> For some reason the organic layer starts out at the bottom and I was like what the f- So yeah, I've thrown away the water layer and then I did the sodium carbonate washing and later the sodium chloride washing. And for some reason at the sodium chloride washing I've had the mind fuck because for some unknown reason the whole thing went on the top. What the hell? I honestly have no idea why but perhaps it has something to do with the sodium chloride taking out all the water from the organic layer. Which I guess makes it less dense? I don't know, this is hurting my brain cells. So finally from colorless to yellow to orange and now blood red, here's our organic layer, which is hopefully mostly benzaldehyde. Here's me getting a beautiful thumbnail shot and after that I went to sleep and then in my sleep I've dreamed of playing Fortnite. Okay, finally the benzaldehyde was added where we started in the bolnik flask and it's finally time to do the last distillation of the video. Here you can see me adding some calcium chloride which hopefully will dry the organic layer. Here's me turning on the vacuum pump. After hitting it some, for some reason everything starts bubbling again and a bunch of nitrogen dioxide started appearing. I have a fury is benzyl nitrate or nitrite decomposing due to the heat, which means I think we're completing the reaction. However, I think this just added a bunch of side products to our benzaldehyde product. Here's a shot of the benzaldehyde very slowly dripping into the collection flask and yeah, I sound pretty excited in the video. Fuck you. you can see some water was left when I was rinsing out the condenser and the joints. Oh well. Okay, so the stuff in the boiling flask basically turned into a red sludge. And I must tell you, this is not fun to clean. First I've used acid, then I've used my f***ing nemesis, which was ammonium hydroxide, and then finally I've used the boiling piranha solution, which finally got rid of the gunk. Anyway, after I got most of the benzaldehyde out, I've dismantled the apparatus, got a close-up shot of all the gunk I'm about to waste 5 hours of my life cleaning, and by the tradition of this channel, here's me smelling it. Hmm. It kind of smells like nuts, I'm not sure why. Yeah, like really concentrated nuts or something, <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Anyway, it was put into its own cute little bottle and I guess this was the longest video on the channel. So yeah, if you're watching this, you're amazing and make sure to like the video and leave a comment. So that YouTube thinks I'm making quality content.